G'day, my name is Dale Shepherd. I'm a resident here in Mary Warren South. We've been here for well, almost 11 years now. We're married and have two daughters, and that's probably the, the most important thing in my life is my family. I'm a, also a businessman. I have a company which I run here in Mary Warren South and am involved in many other business entrepreneurial kind of things. My life is a very interesting life and a very, um, I guess you would say, action-packed, filled life. Uh, when I was 18, I had an uh, accident on the road and I was on a push bike and didn't see a four-wheel drive stop and rode my push bike into the back of it, which broke my neck in three places, dislocated it in two, and I was fighting for my life. So I was a, a pretty fit and able kind of guy, and then I broke my neck and became a, what they call a incomplete quadriplegic. And that, let me tell you, changed my life completely. Uh, I went from a, a teenager who had everything and could do everything. At that stage, I played for the Melbourne Tigers in basketball and yeah, pretty much could do everything to being stuck in a hospital bed, not being able to move. But, with that being said, I always tell people it was the best thing that ever happened. And, you know, people will say, well, oh, it's a bit strange, why, why do you do that? Why do you say that it's the best thing that happened? Well, uh, it changed my life. It completely and utterly made me realise that there was more to life than just the mundane things that you see. And, you know, I, I'm a Christian myself, so it really gave me a real meaning of what a Christian life was about and that is probably the biggest reason why I say it was the best thing that ever happened. Since that, my accident was in 1997. Because I was on a push bike and I rode into the back of a four wheel drive, at that stage the Transport Accident Commission didn't actually cover cyclists riding into a vehicle. Uh, the law said that it was the direct result of a motor vehicle. Well, it wasn't a motor vehicle, so I fell in this loophole. In the end, we lobbied to get the law changed so that it could cover bicyclists who rode into the back of cars, into open doors and the like. And then we were fortunate enough to have a parliamentary bill in my own name. So if you happen to Google the Dale Shepherd bill, you will find that I'm the second Victorian to have a bill in my name, which then allowed us to have compensation. So that was a very, very long process and a very difficult time, but we're very thankful that it all got through and went through and since then it's just been chaotic. My life has just been filled with going to university, getting married, having children, starting a business and my business is all about creating access for people with a disability to buildings, services, um, a whole lot of operations and things like that and we work with small organizations right through to some of Australia's biggest organizations here so that is something that just continually blows my mind that from the time of being on a hospital bed not being able to do anything to being right through to you know, advising some of the biggest companies here in Australia it just blows my mind. I'm also involved in many sort of voluntary capacities. I am on the church eldership of Bethany Christian Fellowship, which is a community-based church, and we do a whole lot of things through that to the community to offer um, support and help to the local community. In the community, assisting the community, and that's pretty much what I'm about. I also sit on the CBM Australia board, so I'm a director of the board, and that is an international aid organisation that tackles probably the biggest issue we have in Australia and worldwide, which is including people with a disability into life. And when you're talking about the third world, the poorest of the poor, and then a disability on top of that, CBM is focused on assisting those people and helping those people, not just with their disability condition, but integrating and including them into 
um, society. I s sit on that board and assist the Australian branch of that to um, fulfil uh, some of the, the amazing projects internationally. I've known Dale for 14 years and we've been married for nearly 11 years and obviously we have two children. Um, Dale is quite incredible in what he does. Once he sets his mind to something, he can achieve anything really. Um, people were surprised to hear that he's a quadriplegic. Um, they firstly assume that he's a paraplegic because of what he can achieve. And it's great that um, he's just got the mentality that nothing stops him. Um, and when he can't do something, he will just think about it for quite some time and work out a way of solution, whether it's uh, pulling apart three bits of uh, pieces of equipment to wash the top of his car so he can do that by himself or, uh, um, or you know, that sort of thing. Or work, he uh, worked on trying to play golf again for about seven years and he's back to, you know, learning how to play golf and just became a member of the Pakenham Golf Club. So he likes to go down, doesn't he? He's converted a whole big scooter so it can take him around the golf course. Hello, my name is Judy, I'm Dale's mum and um, I guess the transformation that took place in Dale's life with his accident was something that affected the whole family but fortunately we have always been able to keep our sense of humour and we've always taken the challenge to do the impossible. So some of the things that Dale has done as an incomplete quadriplegic is bungee jump. He is a keen golfer and gets quite disgruntled when uh, the ball doesn't go where he wants it to. He's currently in the Guinness Book of Records for the longest drive from a seated position. He has always had a heart for people with special needs and that was proven with his pre-enrolment to university before his accident. I have seen both Dale and Barb drop everything to help people in need, particularly young troubled teenagers and, and those in their early 20s. I am acutely proud of the achievements that he has made and I am very, very proud of the fact that he, along with his daily challenges, works tirelessly to provide for his family and is a loving, supportive and honest dad who is teaching his children the correct way to grow up. Um, I think if I had anything that epitomises Dale is that nothing is impossible if you think about it long enough and he has proven that time and time again. So very proud of him, I uh, love him dearly and I know that in future years he will have an incredible impact on the world around him because his heart is for people.